Here we go. I wish I had like entrance music. Do you like my cape? Miss White made it for me. <laughs> for my winter break present. It says H money on the back. Can you see it? H money. Okay. This hat goes nicely with it. Even though we're not in the season. All right. So we're moving on. And we're going to learn about Polygon this chapter. Yay! Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to click like. Okay. So, um, ready? Okay. So triangles, we know, we have learned about the triangle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is always 180 degrees. Okay. What's the sum of all the interior angles of a rectangle? At least I'm trying. What type angle do you see? If this was a rectangle. Because that'd be 90, that'd be 90, that'd be 90, that'd be 9 times 4. That'd be 360, right? It's not 180. Okay? What about a pentagon? What about a hexagon? We're going to learn a pattern right now to help us determine what the sum of the interior angles of that polygon is, okay? Based on the number of sides. Okay, so what I'd like you to do, we'll start with the triangle. We know, we know how to draw a triangle. We know a triangle has three sides, okay? The number of triangles formed by diagonals. Okay, we, if I were to draw a diagonal here, I can't get to another vertex. I would be cutting this, there's no vertex over here. So I can't make another triangle inside this triangle. I can, however, on this quadrilateral. I can cut this quadrilateral into two triangles. I can cut this pentagon into three triangles. Okay? So we'll keep going with the triangle. Number of sides is three. When we have one triangle, so the sum of the measures of the interior angles is just one triangle times 180, 180. Now, quadrilateral, which we already know is 360, it's two triangles. Okay, so if we go back, and I cut that into two, that's two triangles. The sum of each of those triangles is 180, right? That's 180, that's 180, 180 times 2, 360. 180 times 2, 360. Okay, I hear some music or something. It's like, It's like, it's like heavy metal, almost. It's like heavy metal music viewers. It was like something you'd want to do this to. <laughs> this is not good. I had a concussion last year, right? Okay, back to math. Pentagon has five sides. If I try to figure out what's the number of triangles I can create by drawing diagonals, I've got three. That's three. Some of those interior angles is 180. Some of those interior angles 180, and that's 180. So the number of triangles formed by diagonals is the number of sides. It's three, so it's minus two. So I created three triangles, and you guys have calculators, right? 540. I love how you said that very loud. Yeah. So our viewers will hear that. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now what I'd like you to do is following this pattern, okay, I'd like you to draw a couple more of these. Once you get the pattern, you don't need to draw the picture anymore. Okay, but let's draw the hexagon. Did I ask? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Hexagon has six sides. The number of triangles formed by a diagonal is right. It's actually the number of sides minus two. So that would be four. So we have four triangles. Each of those has 180 degrees for their interior angle sum. So what are you getting? What is it? 740. Okay. 
Give you a minute. Keep working on the rest of them. Nine hundred. Calm down. Thank you, of course. Okay. So we can count the number of sides. We identify the number of triangles by doing the number of sides. How do we go from here to here? From the number of sides to the number of triangles we can form, what do we do? We take the number of sides and then we do what? Minus two. So Minus two. Yeah. We get the number of triangles. Yep. Good times. Yep. Good times. All right. So I'm not even going to draw my pictures anymore because I know the pattern here. Number of sides minus two gives me the number of triangles times 180 times 180. 7-Eleven was giving free coffee away this morning. <gasps> yes, but you had to have the app. Like they have a really good pumpkin spice latte. It's probably got a whole bunch of preservatives in it. <laughs> okay, are we good? Are you guys with me? Uh huh. We're not done yet. Okay. What's the last? It's called Nanaga. Did I ask? <laughs> <laughs> it's an N gone. N dash gone. Don't I have that written down? Yeah. Okay. The number of sides it has is just N. It's greater than 10. It means we don't know the number of sides. Isn't it like 9 times 2? I didn't Anything above. When you get to much larger numbers, you might have like a 28 sided. Uh, polygon, we just call it a 28 dash gone, like this. So a number gone. <laughs> exactly. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Decagon, decagon. Okay, so the number of sides is n, or our n gone. What would be the number of triangles n. following this pattern? This is n. n minus 2. This is n minus 2. And what's the sum of the measures of the interior angles? At minus two, two. Times, times two. What do we do from here to here? Go, 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 go. Yes. There's your formula right there. Write it down. Memorize it. It will not be on your formula sheet. You have to know it. I will not give that to you on any quiz or test. You have to know it, and they will not give it to you on the SOL either. Or if you're taking a common core test, doubt they'll give that to you too. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, theorem 8.1, the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n gon is, number of sides minus two, that quantity, it's in parentheses, times one eight. Okay, now, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of this convex hexagon. Go. It even says hexagon on there. Even though sometimes I might not even draw this picture. I might just say hexagon. You need to know a hexagon has six sides. is 1260, classify the polygon by the number of sides. So they're giving you this, the sum, and asking you how many sides the polygon has. So what would you do with that number? We need to do the opposite operations. 
So there's our sum. That's our answer. What are we going to do first? Divide by one. One thousand two hundred and sixty. And then use. Yep. We have to do first. We have to do the opposite operations. So what are we going to do first? Divide by two. We took our six, number of sides, we subtract the two, and then we multiply by 180. Divide by 180. Yes. And what do you get? Seven. Okay. Seven. What's that seven represent? Sides. Seven. How many triangles? So how do we get the number of sides from the number of triangles? Two. Backwards. We have to. Add two. Yes. Yeah. Guarantee you. Hello. Hello. Alice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, every single year, almost in every single class, there is someone that subtracts two. Okay? Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. My kid says that a lot. Don't be that guy. Hey. What's that from? Is that from something? You shouldn't have taken it. It's something I have a okay. geometry code. Why was the geometry teacher so carefree? I don't know. Why well, was the geometry teacher so carefree? That was all their hexagons. <laughs> okay, find the value of x. Sorry, we have to move on, Colin. Maybe we'll have time in a minute. Is it, unless it's math related. Yeah, it is. Kind of. You want to know what's a secret phrase? Yeah, the secret phrase. Oh, first secret phrase. The first secret phrase is what should we make it? Chubby penguins. Chubby penguins. Chubby penguins. Thank you. Okay. Find the value of x in uh, this quadrilateral. So, what should we do? First, we have to know what's the sum of all the interior angles. Okay, it's 360. So, they should all add up to? 360. Okay, so. So, we just add 135. Solve for x. What do you get? Three six. Three eighteen. Yes, and then we subtract three eighteen from both sides. I heard what you said. Forty two, and that's what I got too. Now you got to be careful because if this was a pentagon or a hexagon, you would have to first figure out the sum of the interior angles. And then say that x plus all these numbers equals that sum. In this case, we already know the sum is 360. Okay? You guys are doing really well. All right, now, last theorem. The sum of the measures of the exterior angles, okay, um, of any convex polygon, no matter the size, is always 360. Okay? If I go back to my rectangle, Okay, and I look at the exterior angles. It's going to be 90, that's going to be 90, that's going to be 90, that's going to be 90. They add up to 360. Okay, and even this pentagon, the sum of all of these exterior angles, will always be 360. Okay, so sample one says find the value of x in the diagram shown. We don't have to figure out the sum of the exterior angles. We know it's going to be 360. So in this case, it's x plus 2x plus 89 plus 85 equals 360. Solve for x. Tell me what you get. I'm going to have seven viewers after this. <laughs> no, I already have seven subscribers, right? Yeah, seven subscribers. 62. I, I have seven subscribers currently. Thanks, people. 62. 62 what? Degrees. Oh, is the answer. <laughs> Back to math. Okay, so find the value of x. Now, the value of x is 62, so the measure of that angle would be 62 degrees. Okay, well, but it's asking for the value of x, so we're done. Last one. A convex polygon has exterior angles with Measures of 68, 77, 82, and 62. What's the measure of the exterior angle at the fifth vertex? Go for it. Mm -hmm. 
So what do all of those five angles, exterior angles, have to add up to? Yeah? 360. Okay, 360. So that's going to be... All right, so you got... When you add up these angles, you get 289, right? So sum it of the fifth angle plus 289 equals 360, and you, what did you say it was, Enrique? Okay, question says, what is the measure of the exterior angle of the fifth vertex? So this is actually the measure of an angle, so we will decrease there. And we're done. The second secret phrase is what? Suck them honey. <laughs> How about something a little bit more school appropriate? <laughs> Chocolate ice cream with marshmallows. Chocolate ice cream with marshmallows. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit click like. <laughs> Bye, Blurry Face Eyes.